What's up guys, Momo Jiri here, and I am so excited to bring you more about the Kaiba Lesnar collection that is coming out on Friday. There are some big reprints here for all you Blue Eyes fans, for all you Hand Trap fans, and for everyone in between, really. This set goes far and beyond. And I was going to pick up about, I would say three or four um, boxes of this, but looking at it, I think it's just best to wait maybe like a week or so and just get the singles. Or I'll just get one box open for you guys to show you that maybe it's not the best idea to actually get the the box because I believe it comes with three packs and it has honestly four secrets. All right, so I just looked it up and on the Konami's official website, it says that you get three uh, mega packs in each box. So I guess that's pretty good. And each mega pack, you get four secrets and six ultras. So in every set, you'll get about 30 cards. But this set is big. And I'm not sure if they'll have like the same cards in each mega pack. And that would suck with certain things, I guess. But what we could look into is the fact that uh, Germany and the UK eBay, for some reason, has a bunch of the reprints. And we're just going to go over it and really just check this out. So, of course, we have the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, the White Sim of Legends and Ancients. Matt Maiden with Eyes of Blue, Sage with Eyes of Blue, Priestess with Eyes of Blue. And these are going to be secrets. <clears throat> and then you have Dragon Spirit of Light, A, Assault Core, B, Blaster Drake, and C, Crush Wyvern. Wyvern. I mean, those look pretty cool as secret rares. And then you have a secret burst room destruction, polymerization. Will they have the original or the... The original one they brought out or the remake they made to go in along with the show because the show one looks a lot better than the one they gave us uh then you have the melody of awakening dragons card of demise being sanctuary majesty with eyes of blue enemy controller silver's cry beacon of light ancient rules cost down neutron blast lullaby of obedience Defusion, into the matter matter interdimensional matter transporter, blue ice ultimate dragon, ABC Dragon Buster, Dragon Master Knight, Azura Eyes Silver Dragon, Dark Arm Dragon, Beals of the Diabolical Dragon, Dragon's Ravine, Dragonic Tactics, Return of the Dragon Lords, Trade In. And this is pretty cool. They have um, number S39, Utopia the Lightning in this set. They really want to just let everyone have that card. I mean, it's a pretty good card. Then you have Terraforming, Card to Consolence, Chain Disappearance, Delinquent Duel, White Hole, Call of the Grave, and anti regeki All of those are against the current meta cards. White Hole stops your monster being, from being destroyed and your opponent's monster is destroyed. Call of the Grave, I believe, is the anti-monster reborn. I think that lets you summon a monster from the graveyard or it just stops your opponent altogether. And anti regeki will destroy your opponent's monsters. And all these are trap cards in reverse of the spell cards that they counteract. Then you have Goddess of Sweet Revenge. That's a new card. The King of D, Destruction Dragon, Dragon Revival Rhapsody. So that was like a $16 super rare from the structure deck. So the structure deck probably went up. I think it's uh, Revival of the True Dragon? Revival of the Dragon King? Something like that. But this is cool. And then you have Loop of Destruction. I'm guessing that's the new Ring of Destruction card. And then you have the Flute of Summon Dragons. Ultra Rares, you have Legin, completely a waste of time. Voice Raider, another waste of time. Z Metal Tank, I'm guessing Y uh, Head Dragon and Z, no. Z Metal Tank, Y Head Dragon, X Head Cannon. I, I forget what Y is. I know it's a dragon. And then you have Kyber Man the Ultra. Sounds pretty cool. Protector with Eyes of Blue. Master with Eyes of Blue. Eh, those are okay. Rider, Rider of the Storm Winds. Vampire Lord. Crush Card Virus. I could deal with that. Deck Destruction. Deck Destruction. Oh, Deck Devastation Virus. Okay. Eradicator Epidemic Virus. It is an upgrade from the, I believe, supers that are around. Full Force Virus. It's a nice reprint. 
Ring of Destruction, of course. And then you have Mirror Force, Cloning, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, Ancient Fairy Dragon, and for everyone else out there, you have Drone Lockbird, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. Then you have Dragoonie Phallix, Double Summon, and then Mikazuki no Yaiba. Why is that card in this set? Why is that an Ultra? I don't understand. And then you have Raigeki and of course XYZ Dragon Cannon. And all of this is brought to you by the great people at YGO Organization. I love them. They're so good. Their site just goes everywhere and just gets all the information that we need. Upcoming things for Duel Links, upcoming things for Yu-Gi-Oh! Anniversary stuff and just piles it all together into a nice lovely site. It's a very nice site. You should go check it out. And so because of some of the ultras and some of the secrets in the set, I might not get as many as I planned on it. But, I mean, you get four secrets, six ultras, so I guess it's pretty good. Everything is full, everything looks nice, but I just wonder if they're going to have alternative Blue Eyes White Dragon in this set, because then it kind of rounds out all the Blue Eyes support. You guys just buy this, and you have a Blue Eyes deck. And Blue Eyes and the ABC deck will look even better with some of these secrets. <clears throat> and I guess that's pretty cool. It's a very nice set. A lot of decks are going to be around and I mean blue eyes and ABC are both really competitive and I wish Dark Magician could be but Dark Magician's Dark Magician I wish they come up with better support for it I know they have a fusion that's coming out for it that needs five different spell casters but it's not what the deck needs it's not what it needs maybe some good spells some more monsters I don't know it's weird but the reprint set is pretty cool go grab yours to the um next Friday during any part of the day to get your hands on it. Go get your card shops to get them right on time and tell me how you do with the openings. I'm gonna see if I could get one on Friday, open it here for you guys, but we'll see how it goes if the places next to me will be able to have it. I'm gonna try my best. Tell me what you guys think of the set down below and as always, I'll catch you later.